are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we're going to learn about insects as we read the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Come on and let's join Miss Kay. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Can you spot where the cricket is? This is the cricket. Cricket. Can you say it? Cricket. This is the sun. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the little cricket. Big cricket. Little cricket? Big cricket! Do you know how a cricket looks like in real life? This is a cricket! 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 Good morning! Whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened! Not a sound. This is the locust. Locust. A locust looks like this. Locust. Say it one more time. Locust. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this? This is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. This is how a praying mantis looks like. Praying mantis. See that? Good day. Crunch a worm, munching its way out of an apple. Um, yum, 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 yum. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Where is the worm? Oh, the worm is there. It's munching its way out of an apple. This is how a fruit worm looks like. Worm. A worm. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. A spittle bug looks like this. A spittle bug. Say it one more time. Spittle bug. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a cicada. Cicada. A cicada looks like this. Cicada. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this, kids? It's a bumblebee. Bumblebee. And a bumblebee looks like this. Bumblebee. Good evening. Where did a dragonfly gliding above the water? The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is how a dragonfly looks like. Dragonfly. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. What are these? These are mosquitoes. 
and the mosquitoes makes a buzzing sound. A mosquito looks like this. Mosquito. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. This is a luna moth. A luna moth. A luna moth looks like this. Luna moth. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time and this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. These two are both crickets. So both of these insects are crickets. They look like this. Crickets. The end. And that's the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. Oh wait, I think the author has an important thing to tell us here. Let's read. Did you know that there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets? Some live underground, others above, some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. Wow! So by rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. That's a great thing to know about crickets. I hope that you enjoyed our story for today. Let's study the insects that we just learned from the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Let's see if you could guess them. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. This is a cricket. Yes. This is a locust. This is a praying mantis. This is a worm. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. What is this? A cicada. How about this? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Dragonfly. It's a dragonfly. Mosquito. A mosquito. Luna moth. Luna moth. And these are crickets. Again, we learned this from the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. See you kids again next time. Don't forget to ask your grown-ups to subscribe to our channel so you could learn more words and of course listen to more stories with Miss Kay. Bye for now.